Hey guys, how y'all doing out there? Time for another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com. Today we're doing a tutorial on custom transitions in CyberLake PowerDirector 10 Ultra. Let's get into it. First thing you're going to need is your video clips that you want to use. So bring them down to the timeline. You see I already got some clips down here on the timeline ready to go. Next thing you're going to need is some green screen stock footage. You can go to a lot of places, just, you know, Google free green screen footage or whatever online. You get to places like uh, bestgreenscreen.de. Uh, you can get places, you can pay for it at other places if you want to pay for the, you know, high quality ones. You can use some free ones. I'm going to use a free one on here from bestgreenscreen.de. So I'm going to drag that down to the timeline. I'm going to drag it right underneath the clip that I want to use it for the transition. Now you see I got my clip in the timeline here. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to split it where it needs to be split. Because I don't want the logo and all that in here. I just need the spaceship. So let me step back a few. Go on each little keyframe here by clicking on this, get it back to the position I want. So I'm going to split the clip here. I'm going to remove this front piece. I'm going to right click on it and remove because I don't need that part. I'm going to drag the scrubber to a position where I feel I'm good to go and this is good for me so I'm gonna click on a clip left click I'm gonna click on split I'm gonna right click on this back piece and remove it done with that now I need to get the position right in the middle of these two clips but I don't want this right in the middle I want it right in the middle where the spaceship is in the middle of the screen because by doing that it'll cover up almost everything in the screen and it will allow for everything to be covered up when we go to the transition of the next clip so it's going to look really smooth and beautiful so first thing I want to do is I want this to be larger I want it to cover more of the screen so I'm going to right click this clip I'm not going to right click it dag damn it I'm going to left click it I'm going to go to power tools I'm going to check the box next to video crop and I'm going to hit crop video. As you can see it already jumped up and got a little bit bigger there. I want to make sure that I am at the position where I want it to be. So I'm going to move this forward right to where this bad boy is right about in the middle of the screen. I think that's pretty good. So I have it cropped. You can see what it's going to look like when it's cropped. He's almost basically covering up everything here. So I think that's pretty good. Might just make it a little bit smaller. I see how it looks. I'm actually going to make that a little bit bigger instead. Drag this out a little bit. I think that's good. So I want to click OK. So now as I drag the scrubber forward, see this bad boy is huge on the screen. That's the way I like it. Nice and harsh. Alright, so now the next thing I need to do. I need to get rid of this green. So I'm going to click on this clip, left click on it. And I'm going to go to modify. I'm 
Now I'm going to go to apply chroma key. I'm going to click on the eyedrop tool. I'm going to click on the green. And as you can see, it looks pretty good so far, but I got some green outline on this. So I'm going to move my intensity up, so I'm going to take some of this green out. And I'm going to move my hue tolerance up all the way to get some more of it out. And I'll click close. I'm good with that. I'm going to click save. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch out my timeline because I want to make sure that this spaceship is exactly in the middle of the screen when it goes and transitions to the next clip. So I'll stretch my timeline all the way out. And I'm going to go to where the split is. Put my scrubber there. And I'm going to step forward. Just so I can see when the spaceship is centered on the screen. And it's centered right about there. So I'm going to drag. I'm going to click on this clip here. And I'm going to drag it back. Two, three, four. Right there. I'll go back to this position on the scrubber and see where it's at now. It looks just about right, about right on the middle of the screen. Matter of fact, I think I can move it up one more frame. Perfect. I like it like that. And right now I'm going to go ahead and drag my timeline back down because I don't need to stretch it out anymore. Just needed it to be stretched out to make sure that I got the spaceship right on the middle of the two clips. Because I want that to be right there when the transition happens. Everything's good to go. Now, and then I go to modify. I can go and apply a border. Now if I'm going to apply a border, I want to apply one that's going to make it kind of blend in with the spaceship. As you can see the spaceship and you see a little bit of green around the spaceship, but I don't like that. So I'm going to, after I check it, I'm going to click on border settings. And I'm going to make a gradient color border. I'm going to try to blend it in a little bit with the surroundings here. So I'm going to do a little bit of yellow. And then end it with a little bit of white. Now that's one thing. I can make it kind of look like, you know, matching the surroundings. Because the little planet is that color. It's up to you. What I'm going to do is try to make it match spaceship a little bit. So I'm going to start off with purple and white which makes it match a little bit more or I can even do gray and white it's gonna make it match a little bit more so you got a lot of different options for how you want your spaceship to look now another thing is I'm going to go ahead and change the gradient direction I'm gonna bring it down here because I like the way it looks down there better it's just my own preference if I want my gradient to pull out. I'm going to go ahead and click on this. And I'm going to change the settings on this. Because that gray is just. You know. A little bit too much for me. I'm going to go back to my border settings. Change that up the way I like it. Because it's my video. And that's it. You're good to go. Now it works the same way with the baseball. I'm not going to go over the whole baseball thing again. It works the same way. You do the same stuff. It looks beautiful. Voila. Custom transition. 
using green screen footage. Now, you know what I'm going to ask you to do, so you might as well go ahead and do it. Like this video. Hit the likey button, the thumb that's pointed in the upward direction. Click it, like it, live it, love it, hug it. Leave your comments. You know I always get back to you, so leave your comments. I'll get back to you with an answer. If I can't help you, I'll point you in the right direction so you can get the help you need. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.